Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are at the bottom of the rope that leads up to Timberwolf Mountain. We have been to Timberwolf Mountain. We have climbed the summit of Timberwolf Mountain. We have gotten lots of tea and coffee from Timberwolf Mountain, as well as other things, but plenty of tea and coffee and interesting comment discussions. Uh, and we are now uh, on our way back. And I'm going to make this, this is episode 40. Or I guess no, it's a, no, it's not forty. It's eighty. Oh my god! <sighs> I promise I know how long I've been recording this series, but um, this is definitely episode eighty, and I'm going to make this a nice long hour finale for the series. And the series is not ending. This is just a a twenty episode break, and then we'll have some more long dark content before long. But we are going to head out of Pleasant Valley as quickly as we can. I do need to stop by the farmstead and see what all I might have left there because it's probably my last time being here, honest. Like, I'm I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to leave and I'm never coming back and I cannot be happier to say that than I am. So I'm going to go ahead and repair all of my clothing items all the way up. I know it seems like a little bit of overkill, but we need to use up some of the cloth that we're carrying. Been talking about this for a few episodes now. Might as well do it on some of these tiny little repairs. I might even get the uh, Resolute Outfitter achievement if I... Yeah, let me go ahead and go for it. It's not going to pop up on your screen, but I should get it. You can check my Steam profile to see if I got it uh, as of the moment that I recorded this. I'm recording it... Uh... I don't have my phone in front of me. I don't know what day it is. Or, I, I know what day it is. I can't remember the date. Anyway. But yeah, you can check my Steam profile to see if I got it. Let's, um... Do, 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 do. Almost there. Yeah, this will actually be helpful for getting rid of some weight, too. So, killing two birds with one stone here. And also, because we're spending this time, we're getting thirsty and hungry again. So, all well and good. We've actually already almost used up our fishing tackles that we made. So, so much for using them for fishing at all, we've used them purely for repair. Thank God that they finally put the repair button on top so you don't have to switch to it every time and then keep yourself from accidentally harvesting clothing items, right? It's the best thing. All right, so... Yeah, I just need to repair these. Use some of that cured leather. Okie dokie. Um... It really doesn't matter what I drink, I just need to go through some of these beverages. Because they're a fifth of a pound each. And when you're carrying this many of them, it actually makes a little bit of a dent. Granted, I don't have any water on me right now, so it's all in how you look at it. Thankfully, I have these uh, crackers. So we're going to plow through some of these, too. And here's a tea that I haven't finished drinking. Let's drink that. Very good. Okay, so on that note, I don't think, I think we'll probably stay here for the night. That simple arrow is about done. Go ahead and drop that. I am wearing everything else except for a few clothing items that I'm carrying around, so we'll eventually put those down. We're going to put a bunch of stuff down when we get to other locations. I guess I don't really need to carry the cedar firewood around, do I? I mean, I went to the trouble of picking it up. I have these books, too. Those are, that, those are even more heavy. Even heavier than the uh, cedar firewood. We have the extra fire strikers, of course. Those will get put down eventually. With our other extra fire strikers, we actually have a good many. I'm excited to get back to um, Pleasant Valley. Or, no, I'm excited to get the hell out of Pleasant Valley. I'm excited to get back to uh, Coastal Highway. So, yeah, let's, um... I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, go, up, let's go upstairs and see how things kind of look. This is me making absolutely sure I picked up everything in here.
the encumbrance icon is bright red now. Well, feels like 47 degrees. I mean, there is a hut nearby to the right that I could stop at. And rest in. And I don't even know that I've actually been in that hut. So... There exists the possibility of a bear as well. But yeah, if I can get to the hut, even if the weather turns to crap, the hut is kind of, I think, if I've got my Pleasant Valley geography down, it's kind of halfway between me. Well, not really halfway, but it's along the line from where I am right now to the farmstead. And yes, I'm staying high. Absolutely staying high, because it's also getting towards the end of the day. All right, I don't see any antler marks on trees yet, so I'm not expecting that those are going to be super common, but just like when I see it, I'm going to be like, oh, there's a moose. Maybe we'll see one before the end of this episode. I'm not going to make that my personal goal or anything, but that'd be cool. Starting to see some sunset kind of colors. I'm pretty tired too, so I really can't afford to be out here for too long, but I have got my gear pretty damn well maxed out. All right, so there's a hunting blind. I think the, the hut is further that direction. Tell you what, let's, um, let's do a little bit of skyrimming here. I think I've already been in this hunting blind, but just to make absolutely sure that I've paid it a visit. Yeah. Well, I can't recall if I've been here or not, but there's nothing here, so. Let me keep going this way. Just like I don't know my way very well around Timberwolf Mountain, I still don't know my way very well around this part of Pleasant Valley. I know my way around the main area pretty well. I know my way around the... That's a body. I know my way around the side where Mystery Lake... I've, I've kind of learned my way around there with the past couple of series I've done, so... Useless. So yeah, I, I, I know some of the zone, but this side, obviously, as you can tell from how I got lost last time, I haven't spent a lot of time poking around back here. So I'm not quite sure like when I need to veer left. I'm pretty sure I already needed to, to tell you the truth. And see, with me being halfway exhausted as of right now... There is now the issue of a bear walking right toward me. Right there. But there's also now the issue of just being uh, tired enough that my encumbrance is actually going to start increasing. So I'm going to start moving this direction because I do know that I need to go this way. I know I'm skirting the outside of the back of the zone, but I just kind of wanted to see what else is here. And I thought that hut was closer, but it might be the other direction or it might be right through this clearing. Who knows? Oh, don't tell me he's coming toward me. There's no reason for him to come toward me. I don't, I don't want to get mauled by a bear today. I also don't want my ribs broken by a moose, so... You know, if the game could just do me a favor... And keep... All these... Big guys away from me... It would be appreciated. There's a dead deer. Probably get some, uh... Oh, there's some saplings. I don't really know that I need them at the moment. What kind of saplings are they? Maple or birch? Can't quite tell in this light.
maple. What's up, ravaged deer carcass? Uh, no feathers. There's some crows, but no feathers. Interesting. All right. Let me keep moving this way. Hey, look! More rose hip buds. Trigger, 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 trigger. <laughs> I'm recording very late at night. If that explains my silly mood for this episode and the last one, there you go. You're welcome. God, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Time to look for shelter. Actually, not really, Jennifer. It's still pretty bright. Matter of fact, you're looking at a brilliant orange sunset right as we speak. Pretty sure you still got some light to navigate by, so. With the theatrics. Oh. Oh yeah, I definitely am farther to the side of the zone than I realized. Alright, um, question is, can I effectively Skyrim down to where I need to from here? Sorry for your foot. I know that was probably painful. This would be a cool spot to... I wonder if you could... Oh, wouldn't be cool to have a snow shelter up here? Can you imagine having a, show, a snow shelter up here? Oh my god! This looks like... I, I can't tell... No, this is rock top snow. I wouldn't be able to do it. How amazing would this be for a snow shelter spot, guys? Look at this! Can you imagine? Oh my god, sorry. I get excited about simple things. As should we all. Um, I don't know that I can get down from here. I'm just saying. This is gonna be a little dicey. <laughs> yeah, this is an awesome spot for a snow shelter. It's also an awesome spot to die. Cold and alone. Yeah, we're way up high. If I can Skyrim down from this, it will be impressive. I might have just gotten myself into a bit of a pickle. Let me see, what's what's going on over here? Well, I can't step down this ledge, otherwise I'm I'm committed. Um, I might be able to Skyrim down that edge, or maybe... See, this is a cliff right here. Meanwhile, it gets darker and darker by the second. Tell you what, one thing I can do to keep my energy up a bit is drink some of this coffee. Hey wolves, how's it going? There's the hut that I was thinking about earlier, so it was actually lower than I thought. Yeah, see, I'm a little bit concerned about this, but I'm gonna try it. It's my only chance. This is gonna suck. This is the part that scares me. Oh wait, I can do it. Alright, I am moving alongside this part of the rock. I feel like a billy goat. It's actually quite nice that I found my way to that hut. Hello. Right when I did. Because... I can sleep here. And then find my way to the farmstead in broad daylight. And yes, I'm watching for any predators. Or moosin. <laughs> While we are approaching. I think any um, scrapes on the bark of a tree would stand out as much as a moose itself. They're huge. Not only in the game, but in real life, of course. They are giant creatures.
They look reishi mushrooms. Oh, fine. Actually, don't have a lot in the way of these anymore. I, I was carrying a bunch for a while, but I do need to start paying a little bit of attention to these. Was ignoring them for a bit because we were trying to get down from Timberwolf, but we're down from Timberwolf now. So I'm going to be encumbered for a while until we can set our stuff down at home base. <gasps> Is that? That's a deer. Damn. Got excited. It's like, it's too small. Started saying to myself, it's too small. Can't possibly be a moose. And, uh, okay. And let's hop over here. Already cleared those. So maybe I have already been in here. No, I, well, hmm. Hmm. No, the door wouldn't tell me. But being inside here, yeah, I've been in here already. Damn. Well, crap. Hey, running shoes. More cured leather for me, just kidding. Uh, let's sleep for as long as we possibly can, which is not going to be very long at all. You woke up fully rested. It's still the middle of the night. Yay. So how about we drink some herbal tea? It may actually be clear enough to move. If it is, I will, I will attempt it. Did they change the internal lighting? This seems different. It might just be because it's bright outside, but it seems like that seems bluer and brighter. Uh, no, they just changed the internal lighting. Definitely. Either that or it might be because I, you know what? No. I think it's just the tweaks that I made to my monitor. Um, I've been playing with the color settings to get my two monitors to match up a little better. I think I added some blue to the screen. So you guys can tell me if I'm seeing things. It might just be my monitor. But um, Okay, so... Let's... I, I need to just pass time, I suppose. I'm just going to sleep for as long as I can, which will get the sun up in the sky. We can make our way to the farmstead after we drink a few more coffees. So we're going to be really encumbered until we get out of this zone. The only thing that might free up a little bit of weight is if we lose the books that we picked up, which we could very well do. We're going to, we're going to run out of these teas before long. So I'm going to need to actually have some water again so I can use the wood and the books that I picked up. Beautiful. So yeah, I'll use the, the wood and the books. That's a deer. To potentially make some water. dart right across here because we are I know where I am now I know almost exactly where I am Yep. 
So we're very close to the farmstead. That worked out well. As far as just like delivering me right to where I needed to be. kicking a little bit of the blue out of my monitor image as we speak. Because as soon as I noticed that, I was like, yep, I can tell that my colors are not what they normally are. You guys would laugh if you could see the specific color that I have my main monitor set to. Like, it's just, it's the weirdest combination of red, green, and blue. Um... I mean, the, the colors look fine, but I have it, you know, very finely balanced to where it works well with my other, much newer monitor. Hence the, uh, the occasional need to tweak stuff. But yeah, I was, I was in that, that, you know, shed a second ago, in that, in that little, uh, little hut, and I was like, hmm, something seems bluer than usual. Could be all the blue that I added. Are you coming toward me, Wolf? No, you're going away from me. Good. Keep going away from me. There's a couple of deer over there. At least there's food nearby. He's still walking away. There's a couple of wolves. Close to the farmstead. So I'll try and give him a wide berth. And this is going to be our farewell to the farmstead, most likely. Again, I'm swinging back by here just to make sure I grab anything that I might have left previously. I can't recall if I have already done that or not, so this is me just double-checking myself. If it's redundant. I apologize to all parties involved. But I gotta do what I gotta do, because I don't remember. And I know I've left stuff here in the past. Not only in this series, but in past series. This has been a... I mean, as much as I hate Pleasant Valley, this is a nice place to hunker down. It's a big house, there's lots of room. Sometimes you forget entire rooms, and you come back later, and you've got like a whole new place to explore. It's all fun. We mostly dodged those bullets. Now watch there be a bear. It is a swing set. Oh, cool. So some of the new beautification that they've added is right here outside the farmstead. Let's see if there's anything to be found. Yeah, there's, there's, there's definitely some new stuff out here. Pleasant Valley Farmstead. Yeah, yep. Yeah. and a fire barrel. Cool that there's a fire barrel out here now. I like that. Um, let's step over here and see what else is new. There might just be new stuff inside Pleasant Valley, in the inside the farmstead in general. So I can definitely see some lamps. So when there's an aurora going, there's, there's going to be more going on light-wise. Can we finally step inside here? That'd be cool. No, we can't. Of course not. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm definitely gonna take a moment to look around the farmstead a little bit more closely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember this, guys? Oh, my gosh. These campfires are still here. Man, that was a close moment earlier in the series. It's one of the reasons I'm excited about custom difficulty, because playing Stalker... Mostly... I say this, and I'm gonna say this, and, I'll, and then I'll be in trouble and get close to dying again, but playing Stalker, once I've got my feet under me, it's pretty straightforward, especially on YouTube, because I'm always, like, a little bit more hyper-alert and can, uh, I mean, granted, I'm multitasking, I'm talking and playing at the same time, so I still make mistakes, but uh, knowing that people are going to be watching what you're playing, it, it can help you play better, is the point that I was trying to make. And, uh, um, but, you know, I've got enough experience on Stalker on and off YouTube 
that um, I honestly, you know, I look forward to seeing what the custom difficulty can wrangle up for me. And no, I haven't played with it too much yet. Um, oh wow, nine scrap metal. Let's go ahead and take that. It's going to be heavy, but we need to have that back with us. All right, everything else looks good. You can make, for instance, an interloper-style difficulty, but you can still have the rifle. You can tweak all kinds of stuff. I mean, the custom difficulty mode, uh, I downloaded a really nice image that someone made the other day. Um, there's that flashlight that I left. I forgot about that. Oh, and hello. Cured wolf pelts and cured guts. Um, don't really need those. There's no argument for those. Flashlight, maybe? 2.2 pounds? Yeah, let's take the flashlight. Um, now that our clothing weighs less, we might be able to justify having that on us once we are carrying less stuff around. Lots of cured saplings here, that's nice. Alright, so I did leave some stuff. Also left these quality tools. Okay. So, yeah, I'm glad I came back. It's gonna make the journey back a little bit more hero- oh, hello! Sewing kit, yes please. Uh, I'll leave the rifle cleaning kits, don't need those. Crow feather, yep. Don't need the cured leather. Do need whetstones. Especially if we were playing on an interloper difficulty map. Um, is there anything that I don't need? We're over 100 pounds encumbered now. Hmm. I'm definitely going to need to use that wood. Without question, I will be using that wood. Okay, let me look in the fridge really quick. Oh, another cured gut there. And a cured rabbit pelt, which I don't really need. Nothing in the fridge or freezer. Is there still any meat out front? I remember we had some stuff in nature's freezer out here. Oh, this is not... <laughs> Man. You can tell it's been a while since I've been in here. I don't even know where I am. That is not the front door. This is the front door. The one that, you know, looks like it's in the entrance. Aha! Okay, so rancid wolf meat. And again, I can... It's, oh, it's, if it's rancid... I don't know that I want... Well, no, I can eat it. That's right. I, I don't have to worry about food poisoning anymore. And there's a lot of ruined wolf meat there. So I can totally eat all that. All right, let's, uh, oh god, look how encumbered we are. All right, it's because we, we picked up all this meat. So I'll go ahead and eat, I guess. Again, because we have cooking level five, I no longer have to worry about parasites or food poisoning. So you bet your ass I am eating all of this. Mm, what did I leave in here? Painkillers? Yup. Yup, yup, yup. There it is. And what else? Nothing else in there. So they didn't really change anything. There's, there's nothing more to be found from what I can tell in here. Oh wow. Left some stuff here before. From before, so fur, firewood, coal. I'm gonna pick all this up, but we're probably gonna put some of it back down in a second. I've got these books here. There's an extra flare. That's good. See, I, I can't carry all this stuff with me. I'm, I'm picking all this up now. Believe me, in a second, I'm gonna put a bunch of it down. But let's go ahead and start a fire because I do need water, which is gonna add even more to my weight. And then we need to make some decisions about what I'm leaving behind. I didn't necessarily come here to like grab all of the things. I came here just to kind of have the best possible decision about what I'm taking out of Pleasant Valley and what I'm leaving. For instance, I will probably leave most of my cloth because cloth can be replaced. There's, especially with Milton having been added, there's going to be plenty of cloth to be found. So I'll probably leave that. I'll probably leave the cured leather. 
for instance. Right, let's go ahead and add that firewood. And I do want to go ahead. This is going to seem a bit like overkill because it's going to be really heavy. But we're going to do it anyway. And then, let's see. How am I doing calorie-wise? Not quite enough to eat another wolf steak just yet. I mean, I can eat them anytime I want, but... Okay. That coal I won't need. Wish you, I wish you could repair the fire strikers, but you can't. All right, so I guess the best thing would be, I'm gonna save a couple of these uh, items here. So we'll keep those two teas and the one coffee. Drink the rest of the water from what we just prepared. And now we need to make some tough decisions because look how slowly we're moving, holy crap. All right, so the book I am leaving, the coal I'm leaving, the accelerant, maybe even. Um, I kind of want to bring that with me. Magnifying lens. I feel like I already have some. I mean, I've got these here. See, these are really light. I'm actually going to pick these up and take them back with me because we can have them in our stash in the coastal highway. But then we've got these extra pieces of clothing. Okay, nothing really to add there. We do have some food that we'll go through momentarily. This is, let's see. It's mainly in our tools that we're carrying our extra stuff. So the arrow shafts are pretty heavy. As the quality tools, there's nothing here that I can drop. We need the hacksaw and the heavy hammer. Glad we found a sewing kit. That was a nice find. I'm going to drop all the cloth. I'm going to drop most of the cured leather. Um, see, the scrap metal I don't need either, I don't think, for the same reason that I'm dropping the other stuff. Is there any, any reason that I need it right now? I can't think of one. Let's go ahead and drop that. See, even the reishi mushrooms I don't even really need at the moment. Hang on. I can at least prepare some of these. And I think preparing the reishi... I, I, know, I know that preparing the rose hips improves your encumbrance because the prepared rose hips are much lighter than the rose hips you just carry around having freshly picked them i don't think it's the same for reishi mushrooms there goes the fire but i'm going to prepare these anyway the few areas that I've mapped in Pleasant Valley. Oh gosh. We're halfway through carcass harvesting level four. Pretty good. Okay. Let's now take a second. Yeah, we're at a hundred pounds exactly. Do I need the cured deer hide? That's a question. Do I need all the cured guts? I mean, a lot of that stuff I can put back down later. Can definitely eat some of the wolf meat. And as I drink that water too, that'll make things a little bit easier. Tell you what, let's go ahead and go upstairs because I'm not leaving right now. I'm pretty happy with my movement speed at present to tell you the truth. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough. Hello, what do we have here? Nope. Nope, not needed. Oh, good lord. I have so much stuff here. More flares. See, I, I just, man, I don't need the can opener. 
I don't need any of this stuff, really. All right. Well, let's sleep. There might still be some daylight when I get up. Not really, unfortunately. All right. I'm going to be pretty encumbered heading back to Coastal Highway. See, there's so much cloth even still here in the farmstead that hasn't been harvested. This is what I meant. Hey, antibiotics. Use this. Once we get back to a more central area, e.g. Coastal Highway. <laughs> We're not leaving now, though. Um, I will definitely be doing some more fine-tuning of my inventory and getting back under 66 pounds. But since we're traveling right now, I'm deliberately carrying extra stuff. I can kill me a moose, and that would be one way to get additional weight off my back, if you know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying, look up what some of the new items do for you. It's pretty cool. All right, well, I, th I was going to try and leave right now, but maybe not the best idea. Let's go ahead and pass time. Still looks awful out here. I could just pass the time for most of the night. There's nothing wrong with that. It would it would reduce my energy a little bit, which is not ideal. But the other thing is that it gives me room to drink a lot of water and eat another one of those wolf steaks, which will reduce my encumbrance, speed me up. Cabin fever risk, of course. <sighs> of course I have cabin fever risk. Why wouldn't I have cabin fever risk? So I need to pick up some of the cloth. Specifically just five. What's my cabin fever risk exactly? 20%? Alright, so, man, there, I'm going to have to pick all this up just to get to the cloth at the bottom. Okay, that was enough. So, drop, drop the uh, scrap metal again, drop the cured leather. Actually, I think I was keeping some of that cured leather on me, wasn't I? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, that's good. Picked up some scrap metal again. Let's drop that. Got lots of cured maple saplings on me as well, which is nice. Let's drop the coal. I'm not going to drop the bandage. No thanks. Just the coal. That's all I need. We have 95 pounds. I'm going to try and sleep through the night and hopefully not have cabin fever when I wake up. Well, I'm not going to sleep through the night, but it'll get me through most of the night, and then hopefully the weather will be clear. Yeah, 42% risk. Hopefully the weather will be clear, and the sun will be rising soon. Not just yet, but soon enough. Let's step outside and see if the weather's going to be forgiving. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Well, 
don't see any wildlife. Hang on one second. As I turn my light off. Makes it just a little bit easier to see in these conditions. Beautiful night. How cold are we? It was like 40 degrees. We're not even freezing at the moment. That's how well our clothing is protecting us. So it is time to head back to the highway. Cannot wait. And then at that point, we will actually head to Desolation Point, where we can forge some arrowheads and be much more in a position to leave this rifle behind for good. Which has been a major objective of mine for a while now. I do want to have the rifle in a centralized location. I want to have it at Coastal Highway before I leave it behind. Certainly not going to leave it in Pleasant Valley, of all places. That's just a cruel fate for any... anything, inanimate object or not. See the beginning of daylight starting to peek across the, uh, the snowscape here. So I'm going to make my way this direction. We're not moving particularly fast, because again, I'm stupidly encumbered, but it's all with good reason. And when we get to the Quonset, we might have to deal with some wolves. It's been a while since we were there, so I would imagine there's uh, there's some fresh wolves surrounding it, just to make life difficult. I'm looking for any trees that are that have been scraped by moose antlers. They all kind of look that way right now, but it's just because of the lighting. The uh the way that it's like part there's a little bit of red light on the bottom of the trees right now from the sunlight starting to uh, creep over the horizon. It's always an interesting part of the day-night cycle in the long dark when, like, the very beginning of the dawn, the red light starts to creep into the world, and there's the sun's not in the sky yet, but you'll see the red light, and you'll know that uh, morning is on the way. But yeah, the, the effect that it's having on the trees is that it, ma it makes it look like every single one has been scraped by antlers. It's much more distinctive when they actually have. I saw, I think in the preview video for, or I guess the release video you could call it, because they always uh, release the announcement videos on the Hinterland YouTube channel at the same time that the updates are coming out. But I saw what the, the scrape marks look like so I know what I'm looking for. I not only know to look for them, but I know what they look like. But um, in that particular set of lighting conditions, pretty hard to spot. And of course, just because I don't see the scrape marks doesn't mean there's not a moose around either. So we'll see how this goes. Now the... Dawn is breaking properly. The trees are not playing with my eyes quite as much.
Oh, I cannot wait to be forever gone from this godforsaken place. So if I wanted to go straight to Mountain Town slash Milton, I can go to Mystery Lake. But we've already made a couple of trips to Mystery Lake from Pleasant Valley this trip, and that's not my first destination. I want to go to, Des to Desolation Point first because there's a forge there. And there's also, a, well, there's different ways to look at it. If I had already been to Desolation Point, I might actually be going straight to Forlorn Muskeg because we can go to that forge and then go straight to Milton through Forlorn Muskeg. But you can also get to uh, Milton slash Mountain Town slash Milton slash whatever you want to call it through, um, through Mystery Lake. So there's different options for getting there. Still looking for a moosin. I doubt they'll be this close to the road. That's a deer. Evidently, I startled a deer. Sorry, deer. I did not mean to spook you. So, I think we're coming up on some more of the, um, on, on another one of the areas that's been tweaked. They mentioned Pleasant Valley. The town site had been improved, so there might be new buildings. Or there could just be, you know, new decorations at the very least. You can definitely tell that there's lamps now that will be lighting the area during Aurora, which is really cool. I'm scanning the woods for, for any sign of a moose. I'm already seeing one... I, I see something red. I don't know what the red is, but there's definitely something new coming up ahead. But until I get there, I'm, I'm looking sideways, man. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Canada flag. Mm. No new buildings. I wasn't expecting new buildings, don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't thinking there would actually be like a whole new town area. I just was kind of curious. Alright, I see vehicles. That could yield something new. Looks like you did. You're welcome. chocolate bar. Nothing in the bed. Broken vending machine. Cool. There's just more going on back here now. Fire barrel, pallets, cardboard box. Hand cart, which could be broken down for scrap metal if I wanted to, but I don't. So I'm already carrying enough. Thank you very much. ATM. Uh, trunk. Yeah, so no new buildings that I've seen yet, but there are new cars in the world. Not bad. Let me poke my head in here real quick and see if they've changed anything here. I doubt it, but I'll check. Nope. 
Nothing new. I want to try and keep moving. I don't like being in Pleasant Valley. If I've never told you guys before, I don't like this zone. Mm. Oh, hello. That is a wolf. I mean, I'm not terribly worried about a wolf, to tell you the truth. I just, I would rather my clothing not get hurt at the moment. Um, I don't see anything particularly new on this side of the place, so I think what I'm going to try to do, the wolf appears to be heading off to the left. See if I can hug the terrain here to the right. And avoid his detection. And we're going to go up here. There's definitely new stuff. I'm seeing new vehicles, new tractor. I don't know if it's anything worth stopping for, though. Because I want to get back to Coastal Highway. I mean, I, I hear some of you already saying, well, watch that be the one spot where you can find your mucklucks. <laughs> the best uh, boots in the game that I mentioned a few episodes back we haven't seen yet, despite having searched so much of the world. But now there's more of the world to explore, so we might still find some this run. I think if we find some at all, there will be a... Hello, bird. Random bird flying toward me. Um, I think if we find some at all, there, there will be a desolation point. I mean, they could be in Milton, but, I mean, Milton is has been added to the map since I started this save. And just something about the way randomization works and just experience and instinct tells me maybe not. Maybe not in Milton. Slash Mountain Town slash Milton. Yes, I am strafing immediately to the left while looking in this direction because there are not one but two wolves generally right in front of me. There they are. So I'm going to go up this hill, to the right of which, over there, this hill pretty much leads right towards the exit point of the zone. To tell you the truth, I was kind of hoping for a moose. I was hoping Pleasant Valley would give me a going away gift, because I am not coming back here. I say that. I'll probably find some reason to come back. But probably not on YouTube. Now that we know we have custom difficulty mode, I will probably keep playing this run at some point, just for fun, but I don't know that I'll record it. There'll be so much more to do in a fresh game. I knew I heard footsteps, but that's a deer. Well, at least knowing the deer is there gives me leave to dart across here. Somewhat quick-like. Nope. Not one sign of a moose yet. Not a one. That's okay. We'll see one eventually, somewhere. So I'm thinking, we're 55 minutes into this, I think what I want to do to cap this part of the run... How long have I survived? 98 days. We almost did make it to 100 days this episode. Holy crap. Um, hang on. While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and drink that. 
Oh look, Pleasant Valley is giving me a going away present. In the form of a nice cold gust. Yeah, what I think I want to do is we are... I will try and make it back to the Quonset. I think I can make it. It's not a terribly long journey. There's the... There's the cave. The, the cave doesn't take a long time to traverse, not nearly as long as it takes to traverse, say, the Marine between Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake. And then it's just a matter of finding my way down the hill and getting to the Quonset. And I can probably do that in about 10 minutes from right now. I can probably do that if, if the weather holds up, which is a big if. But my exhaustion's pretty good. If nothing slows me down, apart from what's already slowing me down, I can get to the Quonset, drop some stuff, and that'll be a nice kind of period, or, or semicolon, if you will, for this particular run. So, how about that? flashlight is of course not charged at the moment because we don't have an aurora but I do have my handy dandy lantern to get us through let's go oh yeah <laughs> sewing kit <laughs> I remember someone pointed that out to me a long time ago I think it was in the first uh, or maybe the second 20 episodes episodes 21 through 40 coal laying around. Really don't care. We can pick up coal on the way to Desolation Point. We don't need to pick it up in these mines. There is lots of coal, though. I must say, if there's one thing I come back to Pleasant Valley for, it's just to come back to this side of the mine without actually stepping foot into Pleasant Valley, because why would I, ever? Um just to get this coal. Because there's a lot. Holy crap. Huge amounts. Mm, rifle cartridge. Hey. All right, then. Already been through all the lockers. That rifle cartridge has been there. It was sitting here, sitting there the last couple of times I've been through this mine. I've been through this mine at least twice this series. So I've managed to avoid a rifle cartridge a couple of different times. Can't remember if anyone's commented about it. If they did, again, it was a long time ago, around the same time someone told me about that sewing kit, which I did grab. Thank you very much. About 40 episodes late, but hey, I did it. it seems unusually steep. I mean, I, I know this this slope has always been here, but just all of a sudden it seemed like a wall. I can't recall if I left anything in here. I don't think I have. I'll check really quick. No. That's a negative. So we are almost to the exit. I think it's just up here to the left, actually. Or maybe, yep, there it is. Hey, there's that urban park. I forgot about that been sitting there for a... Yeah, we've definitely been through this mine a good many times. This is at least the second or third time. Holy crap, forgot about all this. Let's get these birch saplings because we can finally take this stuff with us. Oh my gosh, all this coal. Oh yeah, I left this for this exact purpose. Yeah, this is going to slow me down a bit more, but this I will pick up because it's the whole reason that I left it here, is that I said I would come back eventually, and I forgot about it, but this is the moment. 
Oh no, that's actually too much. I wasn't expecting that I would be coming back through already carrying a bunch more stuff when I made that plan. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. The only thing I can do, maybe... Hang on. Yeah, I said if nothing slows me down, how about a whole bunch of coal that I forgot I left behind? Drink that coffee. What can I drop? I mean, I don't need 30 coal, so I can drop some of it. Sufficient to move a little faster, maybe? And then again, once I get... Yeah, this is good enough. I'm happy with this. And I can go back for it later, too. But I want to have as much of the coal with me as I can when I actually leave for Coastal Highway. But again, once I get to the Quonset, we're dropping a bunch of this stuff. So it's going to be a little bit of slow going here for a second. But all totally worth it, because... We are thoroughly supplied now. And there's even more stuff back up there that I could still go back and get if I ever felt the need to top off my extra supplies. Alright, so what would be the fastest way down? I mean, I think we could just go down this way. Maybe veer left here rather than go down the curving slope. As I sneeze, thank God for push to mute. So there, man, this is a clear day in Coastal Highway. Gorgeous. So we're not terribly close to the Quonset. I need to make my way this direction for a little while, but we have the advantage of moving downhill, which is helping us overcome our encumbrance. If I can take advantage of the hill and kind of go diagonally as I make my way towards the Quonset, which is this way, I can see the sheds up ahead. The Quonset also has had some of that uh, beautification done to it. Some of the new additions that have been made. So, we'll get to take a look at that before the episode's over. Hey, I told you guys I was going to give you a nice long finale. Especially since we only got a few episodes in um, Rugged Sentinel before a break. So, hopefully you're enjoying it. No long episodes are not the norm on the channel. A lot of YouTube channels that do this type of content, uh, or actually both my types of content, will do like hour-long episodes because of the nature of the content. Because Total War and Long Dark both, for instance, tend to encourage people to sit down and really either watch or play, whichever one it might be. Again, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I am on a hill. But I'm going to go as diagonal as possible because I still need to... Okay, good. Yeah, this is this is working well. I think my 10-minute estimate was, was pretty much on the money with the exception of the fact that I had to stop and consider that, that coal. So ironically is exactly what I, what I said, you know, in, unless something slows me down. And something did slow me down, but it was something good, not something bad, at least. Can I maybe go up and around this way? It looks like I might be able to. I feel like I might be able to get a better idea of whether there are any wolves between me and where I need to go. Because right now I'm so encumbered that if I did get into a wolf struggle, it would damage my clothing and damage me fairly prolifically. And I'd prefer to avoid that, since this is... It's also a very appropriate soundtrack to be playing right now as we end this portion of the series. But um, I prefer to avoid that, seeing as how this is the, the final moment here before we step away from Against All Odds for another second. Uh, 
Night Bear does patrol up here. That scared the crap out of me. I hate that it does that loading thing every single time. I forgot I have cabin fever risk too. What is my cabin fever risk? 48%. Still pretty high. Not surprising, because I did... It's not like I made an effort to avoid it. Alright, Quonset's up here on the... If I keep following this, I'll just walk straight down into it, actually. I could also walk straight up on a bear, though, so I need to be careful. Or listen for bear crows. Or how about I be careful and listen for bear crows? Cover all my bases. Just a thought. It's about midday. Perfect day in Coastal Highway. Right as we approach the 100 day mark. Not quite there. Not even quite, not even to a 99 quite yet. But we're getting there. I'm going to try and swing over this way. Just trying to keep the high ground as much as possible and also avoid bears. Avoid bears, avoid wolves, avoid all the things. There's a deer out on the ice. Not close enough to the Quonset, though, to indicate the absence of predators. So, yeah, I'm taking a crazy route, actually. I could have just followed the road to be a bit more direct, but I wanted to take this high road. I wanted to take the the hill so that I could see the wolves from above and just see there's the bear right there. And I'm walking right toward him, ironically. I'll be able to turn around, though, if I'm too close. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I better be able to get down through here. Ooh, that's a big drop. Unexpectedly big drop. Okay. Moment of truth. Where are the wolves? There's the Quonset. I know there's new stuff. I want to see the new stuff, but the first thing I want to see are wolves. Or actually, I don't want to see wolves. But I want to know where they are if they're here. I don't see any. I do not see a one. Welcome home, Hadrian. All right. Well, it took about 15 minutes because of my extra caution. Big surprise. <laughs> for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you're not surprised at all. Not a single solitary wolf was at Quonset that day. It's a beautiful thing. There's a truck out back now, too. I think this is new. I don't think the truck was there before. No, definitely not. New truck. New granola bar. That's nice. Nothing else inside it. Okay, so before I end this episode, I want to give myself and give you guys the satisfaction of finally putting down a lot of the stuff that I've been lugging around that's been slowing me down forever and a day, because look how slowly I'm moving. Good lord. All right, so let us begin. In no particular order, I guess we'll start with Fire Strikers. I'll put down this one. I think I might prefer to have... Why do I have two cattail heads on me? I need to find a place to throw those. I'll keep the 54% one on me. Actually, I think these might be even better. Nope. The 54 is actually my best. We'll be putting this gun down in just a second, too. Alright, so the fire strikers have been put up. 
Oh, really? Have I already read them? Yeah, I have. Okay, for a second I got really excited. But I have already read them. And I forgot I have the extra bedroll here too, that's nice. Alright, so what do I have in the drawers here? Stones and matches. I think there are some matches I need to put away. Yep, let's go ahead and put away most of these. Because I don't need to be carrying that many around. And we will put those cattails up. Let's also put the tinder plug up. And the magnifying lenses, since I'm no longer in need of them. The coal, I'll put in this drawer here. Transfer. Let's see, what else? The rifle, I'll go ahead and put down. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. You're literally getting rid of the load right now, Jennifer. Relax. Let's put the rifle there. Look at all these flares. It's a beautiful thing. Sewing primer. And it looks like I have yet to read it. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. Can't recall if I put that there or not. Uh, no, let's not research it right now. I've got other stuff to do, and we've got to end this episode. Let's see. Put down the cured maple saplings. Probably have a spot for them here. Well, none in that drawer, but... Mm, we got arrow shafts in here, so I can put them away. Let's put those up. We've got plenty of arrow shafts now. And this would be a good spot for those saplings. Transfer. And we have some cured birch saplings as well. Transfer. Let's see, the cured deer hide can go up in here. I'll keep the cloth on me. And then these are all green, so they need to be sitting out curing. These are all cured. I will pick them up. And we'll put the green ones down. You, you can already tell I'm moving around faster. It's beautiful. I have a spot, I think, for some... Yeah, there we go. And it is finally time to put down that extra clothing as well. So let's give us give ourselves the satisfaction of putting that down. There's that. Cured birch saplings need to go up as well. 70 pounds. It's amazing what happens when you just drop the damn rifle. Let's put the cured rabbit pelts away. Don't need them anymore either. The feathers, I believe, have a home in this drawer. I'm putting them there anyway. Don't care. <laughs> uh, heavy hammer I'm going to take with me to the forge. There's already a heavy hammer waiting at the, the forge that we visited before. Mm. That's mostly it. I mean, we need to read the sewing primer, but we're taken care of. That's the vast majority of the extra stuff I was carrying around. I can put some of the antibiotics away here, too. I don't need that many on me at all times. But it's still good to have... Actually, I have those there. I'll tell you what, let's put those up too because I have a, a pill box of, or a bottle of 12.
I don't know why some of the antibiotics work differently. Like, notice how it's making me put those away individually. It's always been that way in the Law Dark. It's just weird to me. Okay, anything else? I mean, I need to drink water, I guess. We're almost unencumbered as we end this episode, mainly because we dropped the rifle. But uh, in the next one, when we come back from this break, of course, if you're watching in the backlog, you could jump right back in and continue watching. But uh, when we come back, we will be heading to Desolation Point, and then we'll head the opposite direction, back towards Forlorn Muskeg and, um, and Mystery Lake. <laughs> we'll have to go back to Mystery Lake again. But we will go back that direction in order to head to the town of Milton and explore that in the next uh, run of Against All Odds. Let's go ahead and sleep as well, just to get some rest and to create a save point and cap this hour and almost 20 minute episode of Against All Odds. Holy crap. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Of course, right now we're going to jump back into some Cooperate or Die in Stellaris, I think. I was going to do that in another time slot. I mentioned a while back, but things have been so crazy. It's been 20 episodes of this, and I haven't even gotten to it yet. So, um, yeah, we're going to jump back into that, and then maybe some more Stellaris uh, before coming back to uh, Against All Odds Season 4. Stay tuned for more Long Dark content as well. I have a few ideas percolating. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.